Facing Eric Carroll's and of the gap, Richard Hidalgo hustling over. It's a good thing he did that because Gary Sheffield had to stop at third. Now the next man up is Todd Hollinsworth. Down he goes. Top four runners on the corners. Reynolds facing Raul Mundesi. Now Hidalgo's in center. Sheffield's going to tag. Developing situation at the plate. Out. Hidalgo's 13th assist of the season that's tied for the National League lead. Bottom six still scoreless, two out. Tim Bogar has just walked to load the bases. So we're still scoreless. 36. Is that it? Bottom six still scoreless. Bases loaded for Reynolds. Ishmael Valdez gets Reynolds to chase the high heat, so Reynolds goes down. He looks like your cousin there, Harold. Yeah, he does. <laughs> Everybody's wanting your cousin. What the heck? It's a good thing they kept him in because he got Carroll's, and then two batters later, he freezes Mon uh, Montesi. He struck out six, didn't walk a batter. Bottom seven, still scoreless. Rush Johnson played third base today for Houston, went three for five. It's his fourth homer of the year, and Houston's up by the score of one zip. Lance Berkman. In the same inning, the rookie Here it is. into the gap in left center. Bagwell scores. Berkman's seventh RBI. Well, it was a sweet follow through right there, and that, that's why he was able to cover this ball. Watch how he stays on this pitch and finishes his swing. He was able to drive it in the left center field. But you know what? That was a great swing, but I think you cannot forget the defense of Richard Hidalgo. He saved a couple of runs today, and he actually saved that game. So often defense is overlooked. Uh, so Houston wins at 7-zip, and uh, after the game, Houston optioned Berkman, who we were just talking about, the AAA. They activate Carl Everett from the DL. He's Let us take a look at this. Is uh, Mark Brace singles to right, two hits and two RBIs. It brings in Curtis Goodwin. Now, uh, Harold, we all know about Vladimir Guerrero's power. What about his speed? Well, the thing I like about this play, Bill, is there's a two-out situation, and you want to try to hit a double, or either if you're on first, steal the next pitch. He hustles the whole way, makes the outfielders have to make a perfect throw to throw him out. He ends up scoring later in the inning. And here's Guerrero as a right fielder. Guerrero probably has the best throwing arm in baseball, and of course he's right-handed. Now, somebody has to answer this for me. Why is every great throwing outfielder in the history of baseball right-handed? You can come up with a list of the top 20. I guarantee you they're all right-handed. Sosa now at the plate. Quiet day for him, although he did give it a run here. Rondell White, though, able to make the catch that ends the game. Sosa 0 for 4 this afternoon, and Montreal wins at 5-2. Chris Widger drove in four runs. Chicago has now in against Larry Lubers, the 338 career hitter swings at the first pitch and flies out to J.D. Drew and left center Gwynn 0 for 1. Bottom one, McGuire, standing ovation from the crowd, including Cards Hall of Famer Stan Musial. McGuire facing Andy Aspie, trying to rip stuff up. You know, Mack hit career home run number 414 and 466 against Ashby. Here, though, he flies out to center. McGuire 0 for 1. Bottom three, McGuire's 5,487 career at bat off the meat rack. Here's Mike Shannon with the call. Swing and a long one to center field. Back at the track, at the wall. 500, folks. It is. He does it again. The man. 16th man to reach the 500 home run club. Tony Gwynn, who has 128 career homers, giving up the props, as are the cards at home plate. As is Stan Musial, who's 18th on the home run list with 475, as are the thousands who are taking pictures. Big Mac said later the feeling driving to the ballpark was about the same as when I hit number 62. Curtain calls, a tote board goes to 500. But bottom eight for McGuire. And the Lord said you got to rise up. Uh, preach, Reverend McGuire. 501, 479 feet, 44th of the year. Longest one at home. McGuire joins Harmon Killebrew as the only two men who hit 500 and 501 in the same game. Top nine, Gwynn taking it to the house. A double down the right field line, two run score. Career hit number 2,999. Since the All Star break, Gwynn, 17 hits. Baltimore, Brad Osmus showing some leather. Foul ball. And Osmus makes the great saving catch behind his back. Look at that. Look at that. Brad Osmus can do some things. And Albert Bell, three run home run, his 27th of the year, makes it 6 1. And Baltimore goes on to win by the score of 6 to 3. So Detroit now has lost nine in a row. Anderson and Charles Johnson. Sox and Angels from the head. Top of the fourth, no score. Charlie O'Leary facing Chuck Finley, swinging. And then the sixth, swinging. Swing Top of the eighth, Angels up 7-0. Nomar Garcia Parra rips it to Three left. Years. Orlando Palmero, nice diving over. grab. That's the sort of night it was for the Angels and Red Sox. 8-0 is your final. Angels. This is a Sports Center update.
Yankees and Mariners. Tito Martinez looking for career home run number 200, and he got it. He's been waiting 23 games to get it. Congratulations to Tino Martinez. And like Mark McGuire, he wasn't content sitting on 200. Top of the six with Jorge Posada on second. Martinez busts out the whooping stick for 201. Puts New York up 5-4 off of Jamie Moore. Yankees going to win 7-4. Make a winner out of Roger Clemens, who's now an A's Major League worst one in seven and extra innings coming in. Scott Spezio getting his hit on. Spezio hitting just 203 this year. Base it off Scott Iyer. A's win the game 7-6. to six. The win. Pittsburgh. And Tom Glavin on the mound. Pirates up 2-1. Two, two men on. Bottom of the fifth. Kevin Young looking. Glavin, eight strikeouts, six innings pitched. We're tied at three. Top of the eighth. Base is full of Braves for Greg Hansel. Facing Keith Lockhart, who visits the gap and clears the bases. Brian Jordan, Andrew Jones, Jose Hernandez, come on down. And the Braves win 6-3. to three. On the clutch, two out, base hit. Scott Rowland, the easy grounder off Vladimir Nunez. Mike Lowell, whoops. And that would start a big inning for the field. Three batters later, Gary Bennett playing catcher. Mike Lieberthal, a night off. First Major League home run for Gary Bennett. Welcome to the Major Leagues. Phillies up three zip. Top five, two on. Now 4-1 Philadelphia. Ron Gant goes to steal second. The throw is high. Doug Glanville comes in to score. And the Phillies are now up by the score of 5-1. to one. Top seven, Gary Bennett's ground ball. Right through the legs of Luis Castillo. Rico Bronia scores. Phillies up 7-1. And then Bobby Abreu singles to right. Mark Kotze, man, the Marlins with four errors in this game. The four errors lead to five unearned runs, and the Phillies win it by the score of 9-3. to three. So Philly is now 11-2 against Florida this year. They're now safe go. Here we go. Derek Jeter, night off after getting hit by a pitch Thursday. Top first, Jeff Vecero on the hill, and Paul O'Neill enjoying that. He shots right, it's gone. Bernie Williams, gone. Still in the first. Scott Broch is deep to right center. This, a three-run jack. Vecero has now allowed a major league leading 34 home runs. We go to the bottom of the eighth. A-Rod takes Jason Grimsley for a ride. This, a three-run jack of his own. The Yanks up 11-8. You know what's coming. Next batter, Grimsley rears back and plunks Edgar in the elbow. Grimsley immediately gets tossed. Go to the top of the ninth. One out now. Frankie Rodriguez would take the hill. Chuck Knobloch, look out. Bingo. That was just the second batter Frankie faced. Lou Pinella takes Rodriguez out. Rodriguez then challenges the entire Yankee dugout as he leaves. Remember, he's the guy who started the brawl with the Dodgers. And here we go. Joe Girardi is the guy who comes out. Frankie and Joe exchange punches. We've got ourselves a melee on the field there at Safeco. Shane Spencer would get into it. He chases after Rodriguez. There he is in the blonde hair. He's restrained. Girardi and Rodriguez would go again near the dugout. Just a mess there. And then Jim Lairitz, he gets into it, takes a shot at Rodriguez. Frankie Rodriguez is not going to be very happy. And Joe Girardi tosses the gumballs out onto the field. <laughs> yes, it was. The Yankees win it. Series with L.A. as we check out the action. Todd Hundley back facing the Mets for the first time since he was traded. And not a great night at the plate. Octavio Dotel gets him. Swinging not once, not twice, but three times. 10 Ks for Dotel in the game. Top of the fifth, getting some help in the field. Jose Vizcaino, grounder, Ray Ordonez. Man is tremendous with the glove. Vizcaino 0 for three. Top of the ninth, 2-1 Mets, two men on. Armando Benitez gets Adrian Beltre and Benitez failing. Good. Mets just keep on rolling. Dusty Baker. Looking on, Braves load up the bases in the first, and it's Brian Jordan off Sean Estes. Into the gap in right center, Gerald Williams scores. Chipper Jones right on Brett Boone's tail and just does avoid Brett Main's tag. Everyone is safe. Jordan's lone hit, but it was huge. 7-3, Braves is the final. Gerald, Gerald Williams also top of the 11th. Runners on the corners for Damian Miller. There, your visual proof. Miller with the chopper. Scott Rowland, nice play. Gets the force at second. Miller one for three. That ends the threat. Bottom of the 11th now. One on Domingo Cedeno. Deep to right center, and that is gone. His first National League homer. Second homer of the year. Cedeno's pumped. And the Phils extend their winning streak to four as they take it 4-2 in 11.
No decision for Randy Johnson, who struck out 10 games going. There's Tony, one man on in the first, looking for number 3,000, facing Dan Smith. Win waiting to pitch. There's a drive, right center field, base hit, and there it is! Oh, doctor! You can hang a star on that, baby! A star for the ages for Tony Gwynn, number 3,000. And it's Jerry Coleman with the call. Gwynn gets a hug from first base umpire Kerwin Danley, who was his teammate in college. More ump oddities. Home plate up, Bob Davidson was the second base umpire in Gwynn's Major League debut. That's his wife and family, and the fans celebrating. It's his mom, Vendella's 64th birthday. Gwynn got his 2,000th hit on August 6th, so six years ago precisely. Tips his hat to the crowd, first base removed, and then more Gwynn. Top of the eighth, 8-7 eight, Padres, one man on facing Guillermo Mota, the single to right, Gilvio Veras to third, 866 career multi-hit game. He was four for five on the night. He's now four shy of LK lines. All three hits shy, and the comebacker, Dave Burba, perhaps stole one of those big hits. Gets Boggs at first. Boggs 0 for 3 with a walk on the night. Top six, Esteban Yan to Omar Vizquel. Brian Onora, the home plate ump, calls it a ball. Larry Rothschild begs to differ. Rothschild gets the immediate heave-ho. He fought authority. And authority always wins. Bottom six, Aaron Ledesma up. Bases bloated right back through the box. Freddie McGriff will score. Bubba Trammell hard behind him. The Devil Rays take the 3-2 lead. They go on to win this one. 4-2, your final. Even with the possibility of 3,000 in the air, Tropicana Field 9, your second inning. That is Carlos Delgado off Rick Helling and Crunch. The shot to right and Mumbai is 27th of the year. It's tied at 1. In the 7th, Carlos not done. Off Rick Helling again. This time, the towering drive into the papal. The Jays down 3-2 at that point. Tie game in the fourth. Jeff Zimmerman on. Nobody hits Zimmerman except, well, except Carlos Delgado. His third home run of the night. The Jays win this one 5-4. Delgado's second three-homer game of his career. Zimmerman finally suffers his first loss honoring the legendary Jack Brickhouse who died a year ago today and then there was Carl Everett. Carl Everett in his first game back from the DL where he had suffered a pull hamstring hits his 12th home run of the year in the first he had a huge day four for five with five RBIs. Meanwhile there was defense. Top of six four one Astros Russ Johnson robbed by Tyler Houston a diving play and then we go to the seventh inning stretch which has become legendary in Chicago these days. It's a shame. He can't beat fun of the old ballpark. Bottom eight, Cubs down 5-1, two on for Sammy Sosa. Not today. 0 for 3 in game one of a doubleheader for Sammy Astros. Go on to win it by a score of 6-1 to one in that statistical season. Facing Billy Spires. The drive to deep right center. Sammy on the run and makes the nice catch. Lorraine went nine innings, gave up three hits, walked one. Did not in game one. Singled and walked in four plate appearances. Meanwhile, bottom of the six, Pirates up 2-1. Adrian Brown pinch hitting with runners in second and third scores Ed Sprague and Brant Brown who had been a combined 0 for 34 before they both singled to get on here. Pirates pinch hitters hitting 387 since the All-Star break. They were hitting in his first start in 15 months. McGuire struck out as a pinch hitter in his